Hey guys, how are you? Another literature break for you this afternoon. Um, just wanted to show you something to start off with. This is my year two Calvin Coolidge thing. Um, using some quotes to stay motivated, to stay persistent on some of this writing stuff. And, um, yeah, so that's sort of a joke for people who are uh, friends on Facebook. I guess it's not really the funniest joke. <laughs> Calvin Coolidge is, you know, he was a persistent guy, stuck with it, stuff like that. I don't really know that much about him, so I shouldn't, I'm sort of speaking out of turn. Um, or out of my hat, or whatever you speak when you're wrong. So, Problems and Other Stories by John Updike. It's apparently inverted when you use the laptop instead of the PC. Sorry about that. And this is How to Love America and Leave It at the Same Time. Arrive in some town around three, having been on the road since seven, and cruise the main street, which is also route whatever it is, and vote on the motel you want. The wife favors a discreet back-from-the-road look, but not bungalows. The kids go for a pool, essential, color TV, optional, and magic fingers, fun. Vote with the majority. Pull in and walk to the office. Your legs unbend weirdly after all that sitting behind the wheel. A sticker on the door says the place is run by the plumbers, so this is Mrs. Plummer behind the desk. Fifty-five-ish, tight silver curls with traces of copper. Face motherly, but for the brightness of the lipstick and the sharpness of the sizing up glance. In a half a second she nails you, family man, no trouble. Sweet tough, wise, old, scared Mrs. Plummer. Hand over your plastic credit card. Watch her give it the treatment. People used to roll their own cigarettes in machines with just that gesture. Accept the precious keys with their lozenge-shaped tags of plastic. Consider the career of motel keeper. Selling what shouldn't be buyable. Rest to the weary, bliss to the illicit, space to the living providing television and telephones as threads to keep us in touch with the unreal worlds behind, ahead. Shelter, the oldest commodity. Untie the bags from the roof of the car. Your legs still feel weird, moving. The kids have the routine down pat. In three minutes, in and out of the room, they're in and into the pool. Follow at a middle-aged pace, taking care not to disarray the suitcase in removing the bathing suits. The wife looks great momentarily naked, but she claims she has a headache after all those miles. Wait until the kids get bored with yelling and splashing. Then, beside the pool, it is crystalline. Soak in the sun, listen to the town. You have never heard of the town before. This is important. Otherwise, there are expectations and a plan. So that's the beginning of How to Love America and Leave It at the Same Time from Problems and Other Stories. I hope you guys have a great weekend and um, happy belated President's Day and, um, and all of that. Take care.